Allie here to do the Q&A. So I'm going to finally answer your questions. Um, Molly keeps barking at me. Okay, so I have lots of questions that I want to get to. Sorry, it's been a while. I meant to get to this right when I made the, made the Q&A to get y'all's questions. But I'm now getting to it. I'm really excited to answer all your questions. So a couple of them are like video requests. So I'll definitely get to those. Like y'all want to see the girls' rooms. A little bit more detailed, I guess. Like how we have everything organized. Sorry for Molly Bargain because she'd be all over me if I'm sitting in the floor. She wants to be petted. So I had to put her up for a second. And you might hear her barking around in the background. Okay. The Cooper fam wants to know what are our holiday traditions. And so... Holiday traditions are pretty much just like getting together with family. So this year, Kimberly wants to do like make Santa pancakes. And she asked if I had syrup the other night. And I was like, yeah, we have syrup. She's like, so I really want to make Santa pancakes and cookies and give him milk. So I was like, okay, we can do that. I always do a Christmas Eve gift. So you can see in our Christmas Eve uh I think I showed y'all, or anyways, I, they opened them on Christmas Eve, and I have a couple where I've videoed what I put in their Christmas Eve presents. It's normally like a movie, um, like the Christmas story book, so we can read it before a bad time, tell them all about that, and then like a pajamas that they can wear for on Christmas morning, like to, to get to make cookies or whatever, because we're definitely going to do that. Like special traditions that we do, but... Those are pretty much it. I'd like to have some more really neat traditions. So let me know below. What are your holiday traditions? So maybe I can get on the ball with some more of those. So why do you want another baby? So if we have another baby, we just, obviously we have two girls. So we love to have a boy, even if it's three boys. We've always kind of wanted three. Like whenever we met, we always, I don't know. I just loved the fact of three when I saw families of three. I always wanted like a little sister or another sibling when I was older and I did have my younger brother but for some reason I kind of like space them out a little bit and like have three I don't even want three but three or four we thought about um now with the two girls I'm totally fine with two girls like because <laughs> everything it is a lot harder once you have more kiddos like it makes your life more crazy and hectic and busy and I have a hair salon and just Sometimes it's now it's just like maybe we're good with two. Like I don't know. But then when I really really think about it, like if I get older and we just have two girls, I think I would regret not trying to have one more to have the boy or even to have another girl. Like I would love to have all girls. Like do hair and makeup all the time and do fun stuff. Be able to go do girl trips and girl days. And I'm really looking forward to doing that with the girls when they get older. But then also I know Joel really wants the boy to have guy days and they get to do more sports stuff. And then we can switch out with them and stuff like that. So but I know the girls, they might be more sporty and do boy stuff too. And can do that with daddy. So I don't know. We go back and forth. So that was from like Jackie Moore. I'm not sure how to say her name. Anyways, I would, we would obviously love to grow our family. But we just, we have lots of, maybe, maybe not. We don't know if we go back and forth all the time. So Braylee wants me to do a hair and my hair routine and tips and tricks on how to grow my hair and I can definitely do that because I do have a lot of good tips on that definitely. Claire is two now. She turned two October 2nd from Mallory. <laughs> Same thing. Want more kids and how many? Um, that was from Kaylin and yes, no, we're thinking about it and I do think we will try at some point. I'm just not sure yet. Um, oh yeah and yeah, if we do, we just have to see how it goes with the next one and how we feel later on. Especially if it is another girl or a boy. Um, that would definitely play a factor in it also. What do you think your children's jobs would be in the future? From Camille, I think. I'm not good with saying names at all. Okay, so I think because me and Joel, like our jobs that we have were I'm a hairstylist and I'm a hair salon. He's a chiropractor. I really feel like one or both of them can either be hairstylist or a chiropractor easily um because we're gonna have um because i have my own business and joel will have his eventually also we've even thought about doing something together like that and so i definitely could see them doing that and taking over one of our businesses i'm definitely absolutely gonna have the girls working in the hair salon or at our office early on like whenever they get out of school come to their salon they can sleep for me 
They can answer phone, like be like my little receptionist um, if a client needs a water or whatever. They can just do little things like that and help me clean up around the shop and just hang out and definitely help. Cause I love doing that. My mom does hair too. She had hair salons in the past and she, I always love going to the hair salon and like helping out and talking to your clients and just stuff like that. So it's really a lot of fun and I can't wait for the girls to get older and do that. Kinsley's getting there. But where she's almost six, I'd say within this next year or so, she'll probably do more of stuff like that. So what is the difference between Kinsley and Claire at that age? At which age? Jenna said at Claire's age, I guess. I would say they're pretty similar. Claire's talking way more. Kinsley wasn't talking until close to two, and Claire was talking even before two. I don't even remember. She's talking so good. She tells you exactly what she wants. She says sentences. She is just talking so much, and we are going to start them in gymnastics. I'm not sure if I told you guys that or not before now, um, but anyway, so um, I'm, excited for Claire, blah. I'm excited for Claire to start gymnastics too. Kinsley is still going to be doing gymnastics, but she's going to be going up another level and be doing more tumbling now, so I'm excited for that, because um, that's what I really wanted to learn more so for, uh, for when I did cheerleading. Um, how are they different? I don't know. They're pretty similar. Or, like, they have different so things that, like, stick out more so at different ages. Claire didn't like the car seat when she was little, and Kinsley loved the car seat. And just, like, their sleeping was different when they were babies and things like that. I'm trying to think at this age what's different. I don't know. She just has more of her little... Claire just thinks she's as big as Kinsley. She has her little attitude. She thinks she can do everything Kinsley does. And so that's definitely different. And they're different because she has an older sister. Where Kinsley didn't have an older sister to look up to. So Claire definitely is different in that way. Because she wants to do everything that Kinsley does. So Caroline Monroe said, where would you like to see yourself in 10 years? And that one is a really good one. Because I feel like in 10 years, I feel like we will be well established where right now we are in a smaller home we'd like to be in a little bit bigger home but we love our house and we're updating our outside where there's a room that's going to be like a more playroom gym room kind of thing gymnastics room we're looking at like a extra bonus room finally getting to and finishing up on that we've done a lot of updates here but i do think we might grow into having a bigger house eventually in 10 years i would think in 10 years we would move um, by then. So I thought about staying here forever and then us like have a beach house or something. You know, like put more in it, m blah, put money towards that. Cause I grew up having a beach house and going to the beach all the time. I just love that, like going just on little trips to get out of town for a little bit and to get away. And so, and I love going to the beach. I love just like sitting out, laying out at the beach and the girls playing with toys, getting in the water, like it's just so relaxing to me, and I love that. Like, if I go anywhere on vacation, I'd want to go to the beach or go on a cruise or something. I hope we get to go on more cruises in 10 years. We've only been on one, and it's been like it's been like five years now since we went or whatever. Anyways, it's been a while, and we really want to go on another one soon. So I'd be looking forward to that if we get to do that. I feel like I have a lot of stuff I want to do within... 10 years like I really want to go like skiing or snowboarding sometime zip lining just fun stuff like that and go on more trips hopefully we'll be going on more trips and go on more little vacation trips I could see us with another baby or another child then by then maybe another one or two I don't know because Kendall and Claire is like three um to four years apart they're closer to four years apart. Actually, they're exactly three years and nine months apart. And if we had another one about that time, and then possibly I'd probably say something about the same if we did have another one, depending on if the next one that if we have is like a boy or girl, you know. I don't know. It's so crazy to think about in 10 years. Um, hopefully me and Joel will have like a business, a bigger business together. 10 years, that is just like a lot to think about, like where we'll be in 10 years. 10 years, I, because this year I'll be 28. So, in 10 years, that means I'll be 38 I'm going on 40. I can't even think about going on 30 right now. <laughs> That's so crazy to think I'll be in my 30s in a few years. So, to think then that I'll be thinking about when I'm 40. That's so crazy. Okay. So, on to the next question. 
Sorry, I talk forever on one question. Show that one too. See what he thinks. I answer most of these because I wanted to do a family one together. But then I was like, it's going to be too crazy with the girls running around. And then, and then a lot of these I feel like are more towards me or whatever. But I'll get Joel's input or in Kinsley's too later. How are the kids in you? Amy said. And we're doing great. We're doing awesome. I love my family. What do the girls do with their hair for school and weekend? Tatiana. I think that's how you say it. So... Kinsley loves to get her hair braided. If you see in the vlogs, she loves for me to do any kind of braid. We've been doing pigtail braids a lot, so I told her that I like to do that a lot. When I was little, um, my mom braided my hair all the time. Or do like one braid here with like a ponytail or a bun. Um, she loves, loves headbands. She's in love with headbands. She has a million headbands in her room, and she loves them. Any glittery, pretty headbands. She just wants to wear a headband. Even if I fix her hair like braids or whatever, she's like, I gotta get a headband. She always wants her headband. So she likes headbands better than bows. I wonder if Claire will be like that. I don't know. But Claire does look. Usually Claire just pull hers up to the side because her hair is really long and it gets in her face. So I just try to pull it up to the side and get out of her face for now. That's pretty much it. But I do want to try to do some more like hair style videos on the girls and come up with some more cool style. Can I make another video with my husband washing my hair? Yeah, probably at some point that will end up happening. Are you still spray tanning, Kelly said. No, I've only got that one spray tan and that was just fun to do when we went on like our anniversary trip at, to the beach. Maybe I will get another one eventually. I mean, I don't really care about like staying tan really, so it's not a big deal to me. I might would get one every once in a while. Um, it was a lot of fun, and it was great to see myself actually tan because with the girls, I don't really get to like lay out and tan anymore. So, so yeah, maybe, maybe in the future I'll get another. How many kids do you want in the future? Kennedy Scott asked. So I don't know. We go back and forth. We're good with the two. I'm absolutely good with the two girls. If we have another one, and that's in our future, and that's in God's plans, we have another one. Or Dude, I really cannot imagine having like four or five kids. That seems like a lot to me. Um, I'm really debating going back and forth on this third baby. I'm pretty sure we will try, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know. <laughs> and when are you going on your next holiday and where would you go? I'm not sure what that means. Like our next vacation? Jessica Collins asked. Um, probably... We might would go back, go back to like Gatlinburg area. We don't really have a whole lot of plans right now, but I do know we want to plan some stuff this year for sure. We definitely go to the beach in the summer. I don't know, we did, probably should go somewhere different and fun or a different beach with the girls maybe this summer, just like a trip with us or something. I don't know. But we'll see. How old is your oldest and how long have you had your channel? 2004 vlogger asked. So, Kinsley is going to be six soon. I've had my channel since I was pregnant with Kinsley. So, it was November when I was pregnant with Kinsley. And she's going to be six. So, a little over six years I've had my channel. Which is crazy. And then we've been vlogging four years out of that. A lot of the videos that I did were like this. Like, sit down videos. Like, mommy tips, pregnancy vlogs. Stuff like that. And then, I started watching... Pretty much the Shaytards like vlogs where people were vlogging every day and I just love, love video and the girls and just getting that kind of, just getting those kind of videos like memories to look back on and funny stuff and just all those funny moments. So like, I was like, I want to do this. I really want to do this. And so I started doing it. I started filming and putting them up and I didn't really care if anybody watched them or not because I knew it was stuff that I wanted to watch back. And so now it's been four years. It's so crazy. So, four years vlogging, but six years on YouTube. How is Claire's potty training going, Layla's world said. Well, Claire, well, I put it off with all these holidays. Okay, so my battery died, and this is getting really super long for the q and A. I I probably will definitely ask Kinsley and daddy -O some of these questions, and I might even make that a separate video because this one is going to get really long. I can already tell because the battery died, and... I need to go. I thought I was going to have like 30 minutes to do this and then now um, now I need to get to my appointment and this is getting way longer than I thought answering these questions. So I'll probably have to finish later and then ask them also. This might be a couple parts or something. We're talking about Claire Bear's potty training. How it's going. So 
we were trying to and then the holidays got crazy so i was like you know what i'm just gonna wait until after the holiday so now as soon as everything gets calm back down we'll probably really start potty training i want to do kinsley i really did it and i just i just went for it like we pretty much just went straight to panties and then i just did pull-ups at like night and nap time and then um that way she would know when she went to potty and made a mess that she needed where she needed to go was to go on the potty so that's just like how i like to do it and i like to do it on a weekend where we can work on it um my weekend is really saturday sunday monday because i work friday and saturday mornings a lot so where we can just all we do is potty work on pottying for three days and then they pretty much get it they'll have accidents but then but then they know and it makes it a lot easier if you just do it that way than just try to do a little bit here or there or whatever. So, so Tammy pretty much wants to know um, what kind of dog we would get for like Molly to play with, I guess, or the girls to play with. We would love to get another little dog maybe soon, maybe later. I was thinking when the girls get older so they can actually help take care of it and be a little bit more of a responsibility for them. And because they do, they do help a lot feeding Molly and letting her in and out. And, so, and that is great. And it teaches them to be helpful and to be on a routine where we need to feed Molly and take care of her. I would like another doggy like Molly, but it's a little bit smaller, like maybe a miniature golden retriever or something like that. We're probably looking that when we start. We do look a lot, you know, dogs that need a home. Getting one that we really want, maybe getting one randomly that we um, weren't expecting. So there is quite a few more questions that I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna answer these hopefully today get the rest of these today so that I can get this video up for you guys. Okay guys, so this might be a little weird that I switched to my car, but I really want this video done and these questions done today. So while I had a little time on my lunch break from the salon, I'm just gonna finish up here on your questions. Hopefully, I'll have enough time and get through everything. So Lizzie asked, when do you think, think you're gonna have another baby and what do you want it to be? Also, do you have another if you have another baby do you think you'll buy another house this is from lizzie parker and i pretty much already answer these but i think possibly we don't know in the future and if we do um when probably we thought about if we did try soon that it would be around claire's birthday so then they'd be like there is a part but then i don't know that i could have a baby around the holiday times it's just so crazy and busy around then around now around this time if not we'd probably try like this summer sometime which would end up being like next year sometime so we'll see we'll see how it goes so i don't know if we would move houses or not we would probably just have to see um if the girls need to share room they could for a little bit i mean I think they'd be okay till they got a little bit older um, but I don't know, we'd probably look into it. We've really done a lot of updates. I mean, I love my house. I would love to stay where we're at and even do something like do more vacations and stuff than to buy a bigger house. I'd rather save our money and do fun stuff than to buy a big house and not be able to have money to go do fun stuff, if that makes any sense. That's my thought on things there. Of course, we'd really love, we both would really, really love a little boy. Like, love a little boy. But if it's another girl, obviously we love her just as much. And I would love to have lots of girls. So either way, I'm totally fine with and we'll just have to see. Uh, Michelle Zink. Hi Heather, what sizes are the girls wearing now? What exactly is Olaplex that you use on your hair? Is it a deep conditioner and where can I get it? The girls wear, hair is in 2T to 3T. She's really in the middle. Some 3T things fit her. Um, 2T is getting small. And Kinsley is in 6. Yeah, she's 6. So about 6 to 7. Um, I've went ahead and bought like some 8s and 10s. Just stuff that she can grow into. And that she can wear for a while. But pretty much she's in 6 to 7s. So getting into the 7s. And Olaplex is amazing for hair. If you don't know what Olaplex is, go to Olaplex.com. You can see what all it's all about. If you do an Olaplex treatment by itself, it will help repair your splins. Like any damage to your hair will be um, rejuvenated and it will be back to healthy. 
and it's amazing for your hair. It makes it really soft and shiny. I do that. I try to do it once a month, every other month, if not once a month. And then you can also put it in like your colors or highlights or anything like that and it'll help protect your hair through the process of the coloring process. So um, just keeps your hair a lot healthier. Um, but definitely recommend everybody doing an Olaplex treatment, a lawn treatment, and it's amazing for your hair. Your hair feels super, super, super soft and healthy afterwards. Uh, but to finding it, you have to find a hair salon that has it and that do the treatments. Um, but there's also a part three that you can get Olaplex treatment that you can use at home. Um, but you have to go to the hair salon to get that also. But definitely go check it out because it's amazing. Sarah said, I would love to see what shampoo and conditioner that you use on the girl's hair. Oh, your little girl's one day older than Claire. Awesome. Oh, it's very dry here. I would love to see what you use. Still using the baby, like the Johnson & Johnson, I think it is. Um, I still use that, but I use the moisturizing shampoo. So go get the moisturizing shampoo in that and that's what I've been using and then I do put a little condition moisturizing conditioner by Redken um, I do that conditioner on their hair so I do that the other shampoo and that and they'll probably or you can just get a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner but I stick with the kids with the shampoo in case it gets in their eyes so it doesn't burn their eyes um, and then with the conditioner it doesn't really like suds up like shampoo so it never gets in their eyes so I just use a regular conditioner for that so thank moisturizing shampoo and then a good moisturizing conditioner but if you want it for a kiddo you might want to use the kit still use the kids uh moisturizing shampoo for now how many years have you and Joel been together and how do you prepare dinner for your family anything like freezer meal and i'm new to cooking for four people i'm not the best cook if you've watched my vlogs for a long time i don't have time to cook a lot of times so and we end up going through drive throughs a lot but I'm going to try this next year to meal plan and do a lot better with meal planning and doing better with that. And do more. I like to do crock pot stuff, so do more of that. Um, we've been together for six years. We're going on six years in September. will be six years of marriage. And then we've been together eight years. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. My mom called from the hair salon. So, anyways, I got to get back there. I'm trying not to make this too, too long also. So, um, let's see. To cook for your new family, I'd say check out some Pinterest like crock pot stuff. Because if you're busy all day, that's just super simple. You just put it together like that. Bye, Hasten. I think that's how you say it. Now that Joel is working, how do you two split the bills and who pays for what? So, pretty much now we have our joint account and we just do everything together. I pretty much say everything just because it's simple, but our stuff goes into all with account and then we I pay it out like that. Who's responsible for the house chores like cleaning and doing laundry? Does Joel help and does their responsibilities fall on you? Yeah, Joel helps. We all help clean up. We usually have days that we just stay at home and don't do anything and just get cleaning done and organizing and I always love doing that and getting that done and out of the way. And um, I try to in the afternoons do some and also my grandma's there so she'll do little cleanings and little things like that to help out. But definitely, I usually try to clean up and like put up clothes in the afternoons, like in the afternoon after we eat dinner, before we're getting ready for bed. Sometimes the girls are just playing and I'll be folding clothes, putting up clothes then. And that way they're just, um, they're busy and then I'm busy doing that and we just do that. And then I try to clean various times throughout the week. Try to do a lot in the mornings or get it done and out of the way. I just like to get stuff done and not have to worry about it later. So, but yeah, he helps too. And Joel managed to be so happy and supportive of each other. You have a beautiful family and enjoy watching the girls grow. So that's great. So yeah, we, I think the key to staying happy, a happy couple and all, is just being together all the time and like taking trips together like just having that time for yourself like if you've watched our daily vlogs we pretty much go every friday it doesn't matter what time we get off work every friday even if it's for an hour in the afternoon because we've been working all day we try to go run to target together or we go get something to eat really quick even if it's just like cookout or something or chick-fil-a to have more time that day we both try to get off a little bit earlier just to if we run by the mall and hang out if we just got to eat if we just have time for each other, just a little bit of time. But every, every week we go Fridays is our day. And then we try to go on little dates other times to get babysitters with the girls. 
like an afternoon date but those don't happen very often we mo most of the time do stuff with the girls but definitely think the key is spending time together and having that time just for you two like it was when you're like first dating you know when it was an exciting time and all and then just taking family trips together i just love going on trips and vacations so any little trip is just a lot of fun just to get out of town and relax and you know just get your mind off of everything that's going on any baby names that you like i don't want to tell baby names that i like because i like to do like guess what the baby name is going to be and like give you a clue or whatever but we have a boy name picked out we've had a boy name picked out from um claire like when we thought claire was a boy we have our name picked out and that's if we have a boy we know that's what we're gonna name him but i don't want to say what it is yet and then girls i have no idea i do have some girl names that i love that don't start with a k so possibly um if we had another girl i might not would start with a k but i probably would be like going towards maybe another k name for a girl too i don't know it's so hard to say so we we'll just have to just have to see if we have a girl or boy what what would happen and then their boy name who knows if it we really doubt boy if we'd really call him that but we both really like that name so we probably will and finally the last one said it would be cool if i could do a whole video with the whole family um i guess answering these questions and we were gonna try we really were gonna try to do that i just figured it would be too crazy and the girls just can't be still for that long for us to do a video like that so but i'm definitely gonna go through these and answer daddy -o and kenzo some of these questions and see what their thoughts are on this i would love to see what they think but thank y'all so much so so much for answering these questions thank you for thank you for watching us it's awesome that you guys watch us and we've been vlogging for this song and we're on youtube it's so crazy and awesome and i love doing these videos thank y'all so much and yeah so hope i answered all your questions if you have any more questions leave them below and i'll get to them for sure and i hope y'all have a great day and we'll see you guys soon bye